Is everybody in? You know? Yes. Okay. Good evening, everybody. Uh, this is Jerry Moy. I'm the vice president of the Asian Alumni Group of the CCNY Alumni Association. So welcome this evening. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we're uh, going to have a very interesting session. I have to apologize, first of all, I am stuck in traffic on, unexpectedly. So I'm going to uh, do a short introduction and then I'm going to try to get back on the road here again. But uh, in the meantime, uh, I just wanted to uh, thank you all for joining us. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with the, uh, the Alumni Association of the City College of New York, we've been around for many, many years and uh, within the Alumni Association, there are specialty groups such as the Asian Alumni Group, which uh, I and a number of people represent. So we are here this evening to uh, provide some uh, information, some entertainment, some you know, idea of what's going on in the world of Asian Americans in, the, in America and things that we can do to help our, our, you know, our everyday lives. So one of these things is uh, all the stress that we've been going through uh, as of late with the pandemic, with uh, a lot of the politics uh, that are going on, the anti-Asian uh, rhetoric that we've heard over the last several years. And obviously, you know, of greater concern is some of the violence that uh, many Asian Americans have experienced. So. Not to dwell too much on that, but uh, our guest tonight, Soki Lee, is going to actually help us address some of those issues uh, by uh, talking about movement and how that can help us, you know, be more mindful and centered about ourselves and understand, you know, the issues that are confronting us and how to deal with them through movement. So uh, Soki Lee is a uh, licensed massage therapist and a and a teacher of Tai Chi. So she has been doing this for well over 20 years and has a great deal of experience and understanding of you know, these issues and these uh, skill sets. And um, basically this evening, Soki is going to go through a few of these things uh, with us. Uh, but before I turn it over to Soki, I just wanted to mention that Soki did attend CCNY before she transferred to one of our uh, competitors, uh, Pratt Institute, but Nevertheless, she and her family, they have their heart and she'll tell you a little bit more about her background with City College overall. And uh, from there, you know, I think you'll appreciate what, you know, Soki has to offer and to tell us all about. So uh, Soki, I'm going to uh, basically put myself on mute <laughs> as though uh, my traffic and issues won't bother everybody else. But uh, I will turn it over to you, and uh, I want to thank you in advance for all your work and uh, you know the attention that you're paying to us. And I appreciate it again, you know, you're coming in and working with us tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Jerry, and I hope you have a safe ride home. I just want to say good evening to everybody. Thank you for coming into your living room, and we're doing this virtually at the comfort of your own home. My name is Saki Lee. What I, uh, so I want to get some technical things going first. So uh, if you want to see me, I believe, uh, uh, am I being spotlighted? I think so, right? Can you, am I spotlighted? Is somebody helping me? Could you spotlight me if that's possible? Okay, okay, then can you pick that on? Hello. Can you get in the gallery? Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, let's begin. So, yes. Good evening, everybody. My name is Saki Lee. I have been teaching uh, for many years. I kind of lost the count. Uh, Qigong and uh, CCNY Alumni Associated at Association had asked me to conduct a workshop. So, at this point, I'm fairly um, comfortable with the Zoom environment. The beauty of Zoom is that Everybody got a front seat. So today, I'm not really going to be lecturing. I, th I would like to do some uh, Qigong exercises. I think I called it, what did I call it? Stress, COVID stress buster. <laughs> so we're going to do some nice breathing. <laughs> COVID stress buster. <laughs> okay. Um, so on my menu here, I don't know how much time we have, but I definitely want to make time for the breath alignment and circulation. I like to do probably eight pieces of brocade, six healing sound, and then um, let's see how much time we have. And then I did 
and I uh, because uh, I want to also do some punching, which I think are good for like these times. Just, so if you have some light weights, one or two pounds, it's just it's enough. And really, really very important is that especially on a day like this, just to have the water. So I will always talk about water. Water being really important. So with that, I'm going to drink my water. And thank you for joining me. If you can put yourself on camera, that would give me, you know, at least uh, some indication that I'm not all by myself here. That would be great. <laughs> that would be really helpful. So let's begin with um, just standing in alignment. My ABCs, I call this. Yeah. So A is for alignment. So before we do anything, I just want to find a little time to center ourselves. So we have our feet comfortably apart, about hips width. And I just want everybody, if you are participating, I hope you are. We have three postures in here. You can either stand, sit, or squat. So, um, so I'll be standing. So yeah, whether you're sitting, that's good too. So whatever you need to do, but if you are standing, if you're sitting, you still want your toes facing forward um, and feet comfortably apart. So just want to kind of check, see if you can rock back and forth a little bit just to get your feel the feet on the ground, which is really important. So, yeah, we just want to rock all the way to the heel. The alignment begins in the heel. So once you find the heel, that's where it begins, the alignment. But I want you to rock forward just a little bit forward. So if you have 10 toes, you just want to kind of spread them and grip them. So we're looking to have full real estate of the feet on the ground. That is really important being in a stable ground and also releasing all the energy through the earth. So, so alignment to begin. So the alignment is our feet comfortably part equally weighted. And we're going to also begin with our chin, our chin, looking straight ahead, tuck your chin in, make that double chin and be aware that the head is sitting on top of the spine. So we are not looking for this. We're looking just to bring our chin down. If you're at home, one thing I would like to ask you is to place your hand just behind your neck and just check, just to look up and down. Do you feel like the neck is contracting when you look up or when you tuck your head? It's like, we want to go for that neutral. So, so that's where we want our head to be with the alignment. So the chin parallel to the ground, looking straight ahead. And we're going to stick the crown of our head just extended from the spine up to the ceiling. So we want to soften our hip fold, relax the lower back, soften our knees, soften our ankles. Just by standing with our knees slightly bent, we are, we are engaging our muscles. And just by standing nice and tall and softening our knees, we are already engaging the muscle. Just by standing, we're strengthening. So I'd like to invite everybody just to kind of like open up a little bit energetically. And uh, I'd like to begin this session. Let's start with the breath, which is so important. Placing one hand on the heart to listen to our heartbeat. And in the other hand, just below the belly button. That is called the Dantan, that area, energy center, Chinese word. Two inches, approximately a couple inches below the belly of button and a couple inches in. So if you can just bring your attention, particularly your breath into there. So just, we're going to be a little centering, placing our hand on our heart, other hand, just below the belly button. See if we can just center ourselves with the breath. Feel the expansion as we breathe in. Breathe into your nose and send it right to your belly, belly breathing. So you can take some nice deep breath in silence. Can we listen to the movement of our heartbeat, of our breath as it fills up the lungs from the lower part? So just spend a moment just centering ourselves with the breath, which is so important. And I'll be quiet so you can really feel that. <laughs> So let's get moving before you go back to, <laughs> before you fall asleep or something after a long day. So I'd like to introduce harmonizing breath. So with our palm, fingertips facing each other. Again, we're sending our breath into the belly. 
Feel yourself filling up from the bottom of the lungs, filling up, breathing in. Elbows out to side, shoulders relaxed. Drawing the breath up, feeling the expansion as we breathe in, very gentle. And pushing, exhale, coming down. Filling up. Feel the expansion as we breathe in. Feel the contrast of expansion and contraction. A little bit more effort to squeezing all the air out. I'm actually squatting a little bit, so if you want a little bit more workout, feel free to breathing in. Full breath in and squeezing it out. Harmonizing breath. You can do that all day long if you're breathing anyway, so you may as well breathe better. We want to coordinate our breathing with movement, filling up, and a deep exhale out. Good. And let's just begin just by um, shaking, our, just energizing our fingers. So um, we want to have our fingertips facing the ground um, and just opening and closing them, energizing the fingertips. Chances are you just came from work all day or whatever, gardening. So you really want to release the hands, the wrists, the elbows, the shoulders. So, so releasing the elbows and shoulders, just with the fingers pointing towards the ground, unlocking those elbows. Really want to shake your wrist very vigorously as if you had just washed your hands and you want to dry, air dry them very safely. Shake it very vigorously if you can, bringing all the circulation out to the fingertips. I don't know if you can mute everybody besides uh, mute everybody. I think I can hear some echoes. Okay, let's go out to the side. Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay. One second. I got unmuted. I'm sorry, I got muted. Okay, back to this. Can you hear me? Give me a thumbs up. Okay, great, thanks. Okay, let's continue to shake. I don't know if you heard me. I was just saying that as we shake, with everything loose, it just kind of like encourage all the uh, relaxing up to the elbows and show. We just want to shake it all out. Oh, <laughs> yeah, out, out, out to the side. It's good. And uh, yeah, so we did harmonizing breath. And uh, what I'd like to do is let's do, on a hot day like this in particular, let's do opening fountain. Open wide, imagine that we are. So if you want to sink down and just grab all that nice clean water and coming up, open, open up your fingertips, spread out to the sky with the exhale. So sink down, grabbing big breath in, coming up, opening up the lungs. Reaching out, opening all fingertips inside with the exhale. Ah, sounds are good. You're in the privacy of your own home. So come up. This time turn to your side. Look to the side. Get a nice twist to the spine. Come up in the center. Big breath in. Look to the other side. Get a nice twist. Good. Come back to the center. Think about the breath. Inhale, coming up, exhale, coming down. This time, let's get a little bit of a contrast. We want to grip that wrist, tighten that, and come up to release. Feel the contrast of tightening and release. Turn to the side this time, exhale out. Come back to the center, release. One more time to the other side. Hold that fist tightly and Release, out to side, ha, ah, good. Let's come back to center, harmonizing breath. We want our shoulders to be relaxed, that's why the elbows are out. Deep breath in. I see some shoulders going up, see if you can have your elbows out to side. Yeah, just feel that, breathing in. Thanks for showing up so I can have at least some idea. Good, 
And uh, so let's gather chi three ways in this evening. So open wide again. We're going to gather chi from above us, from heaven, if you want to think about that. So open up palm facing out. Big breath in. Reaching up. Eyes looking up. And then we're just going to come down. I'm going to get a little closer so you can see. It's palm facing down. You just want to scan with the exhale. Softening the eyebrows, the jaws, your heart. And bring it down all the way to the Dantian that I talked about. A little bit below the belly. Full breath in here. We're gathering chi from above. Ah, let's do another. Breathing in. Reaching up. Looking up. Gather all the good chi. You can feel to bring all the good chi coming down. Palms facing the sky. Coming down the center line with the exhale. So, and right into the breath. Press in. Deep breath in. And out. One more. Reaching above to heaven. Gather all the good chi. Filter it if you like. And softening the eyebrows, the jaws. Yes. Shh. Full exhale. And full breath here. With every inhale, to see if you can just release all that tension to the ground. That's why we want to be very grounded. Good. The next level that we... And I'm going to squat a little bit. Of course, you can make it as challenging or... Whatever is good for you. you. could be sitting down. I'm squatting right now. And let's gather chi at the human level. So again, we're going to come up at the heart level. We're going to open up. And we're going to reach forward. Bending at the hips. Straight back. Straight legs. Folding at the hips. And gather. Shoot the head up to the ceiling. And always back in alignment. Full breath in. You got the ideas this time. Let's do another one. Open from the heart. Big breath in. And fold the hip, reaching out. And coming back to center. Depositing our good energy into our belly. Relaxing the shoulders. Just check. One more time. From the heart. Open. And reaching forward. Yes. Grabbing all the good energy. Straight back. Straight all the way to the heels. And softening to the belly. Full breath in here. Ah, next one. We want to use our uh, imagination a little bit. Palms facing down. See if we can just imagine soaking up the energy of the earth. Breathe with the palms and your feet. The kidney one area, just behind the ball, the feet. Just imagine coming up your arms and legs. And again, deposit that good energy from the earth into the belly. And you know the drill already. We're just going to breathe in and breathe out. Integrating all the good energy we gather from above this level and on the ground. We're going to press right into our belly. And we're going to seal in all the good energy by going around. Really press in and just three times. Clockwise. Ah, and counterclockwise. Good. Good. And shake it all out. Okay. Um... I think we talk about sound, so I'd like to ask you to join me. I may not be able to hear you, but you'll be able to hear me. I want to make this big opening sound for the heart, heart fire, uh, which is uh, the sound is huh. Whatever you, whatever accent you have, if it's close enough, that's good enough. So we're gonna open up ha. Good, and then we're gonna go dive down, folding at the hip. And the sound for the water is shui. So let's do it together. Join me at home. Ha! Good. I can hear you almost. And for me, shui. Straight legs, straight back. Let's do two more. Ha! I don't know about you. I needed that. Folding at the hip. Shui. Let's do one more big. <laughs> yeah, you're doing it. Good. And shui. Very good. Let's do it a little quieter this time. Same sound, except we're aspiring. It's a very different quality. Let's go. <sighs> Same thing, right? And shui. Folding at the hip. Just opening up. <sighs> Hinging at the hip. Shui, straight back, straight leg, all the way to the heels. One more. 
Ha. Shui. Good. That sounds a little bit. Ah, okay. Uh, let's shake loose again. You know, talking about pre-COVID time, you know, this is, let's do something for our immune system. So, you know, one of the things that we can do is define our thymus. You can either use a soft fist or fingertips like this. And we're going to begin just again, let's begin with this, just by planting our feet and just kind of bouncing off our knees, a soft, yep, up and down like this, shaking it loose, right? We're going to begin with that. And at the same time, I'm getting a little closer as you can see. So at the same time, we're just going to tap in the middle here, the thymus, to, uh, to help improve the immune system. We've been going through a lot of stress, no doubt. What did we call this? Stress buster? <laughs> okay. yeah, tap, tap, tap. You can use the other hand. As long as you... Do we getting a gentle massage to the organs and the joint is filling up the fluid? Yep, yeah, you can do double-handed if you want. Just tap the center for thyme. It's good. And at the same time, let's also fire up the spine. So I'd like to suggest that you tuck one thumb in, making a nice flat surface. We're going to relax the lower back, just softening all that. And we're going to place it right behind, just above the hip in the lumbar region. Continue to shake up and down. But I do want to put a little bit more effort into rubbing it really hard, firing up the spine in alignment. Make sure those blocks don't fall down. So in alignment, looking straight ahead. I'm glad some of you have a camera on. At least I got some idea that, <laughs> that you're doing this. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, rub really hard. We want to do it for at least 30 seconds or until it gets warm. So yeah, this is really good for fire up the spine. We know how important that is. But we do want to relax our back, bouncing up and down with our feet planted. Let me know when it's... Uh, somebody give me an indication that the, the, that the spine feels a little bit warm. If not, continue. We may have to do this the whole night, so let me know. <laughs> Are we warm enough? Is it at least 30 seconds? Yeah, you're going like this? Okay, rub a little more. Good. Okay, good enough. You can continue at home. But really nice to fire up the spine. Okay, good. Whew. Okay, I'm glad we can move on from there. We got a lot to do today. Um, all right, let's do a really good wake up. I'm just going to kneel down. So let's just tap with the overall energizing to the whole body. Tap at the top of the head. That's a hundred point. Oh, yeah. Tap, tap, tap. And we're just going to very quickly warm up the entire body, bringing circulation. Yeah. Tap, tap, tap. And just brush your hair, getting all the stuff that may have picked up during the daytime. And pulling the, on the, the follicles are great too. Our brain is really important. And I like to tap the jaw, just like, you know, we tend to show a lot of tension there. Tap, tap, tap the gum for gum health, everything. <laughs> okay. And then, yeah, yeah let's, um, let's start with soft, soft flexible hands. As if you're playing a drum, we just want to bounce off. Just giving an overall uh, circulation to the entire body. Bouncing off. Get particularly the back of the neck, tucking your chin in. Go down to C7, that bump. Good. Coming back, relax this palm facing up. Let's begin just by tapping shoulders. You can either use a soft fist or your yeah, palm facing up. So yeah, just kind of bring some circulation to the entire body. Coming back up to be sure, back to shoulders. Let's go down the outer arm. And then we're going to go to the top of the shoulder again. And let's get that lung point, which is underneath the clavicle, the lung point. Really all important lung point here, right underneath the collarbone. Good. And let's do the axilla armpit area. <laughs> and let's do the side of the ribs. Yeah. Just Remember, we had to breathe through the side too. Just a reminder. Let's get back to the lung point again. Just like it pop out. Yep, popping out. And let's extend the other palm. Same thing. Top of the shoulder. We're not slapping our faces. Turn. <laughs> make sure we're just tapping the top of the shoulder. Coming down. Let's do this really quick. And let's, yeah, outer arm. Good. Let's do the other lung point. Underneath the collarbone. Let that really pop out. <coughs> oh, popping out. If you are... Uh, Coughing a little bit, that's good. And let's do the axilla, armpit area. Good. And do the side of the ribs. Good. 
Let's do the double long point. Yeah. And in the collarbone. Swings. Swings. And let's do the side of ribs. All this. And the belly. Big belly buster. So if you want to um, soften your knees and do a little squat. But if you want to take it easy, you can sit or stand. I don't know how your day have been. And let's do the side again. And just flying arms on this. Let the momentum do its work. We really want to warm up the entire body. So I'm going to just squat down. This is a good time to say you got to listen to your body. I'm just making suggestions. We're going to stay on the knee for a little bit and sit back into a squat if you want to. Just, get, just going all the way down to the ankles. And coming up on the inside. Good. Stay in the knee. Come all the way up. With the body meets the leg, we just want to get some circulation into the inguinal fold. And again, sitting back, we really want to set all the way to the heel. Or if you want to, you really sit, that's fine too. <laughs> this is what damage you can sit. But if you can stand it, stand. Let's get to the knee, right? And let's go down to the ankles and get all 10 toes. Good. And let's go back to the heels, the back of the calves, back of the knee, thigh. And standing nice and tall again. And get, the, get those big gluteal muscles they've been sitting on all day. Yeah, really punch them out. Let's come to the center where the sacrum is. Give them a good wake up and circulation. And let's climb as high as you can. The kidney adrenal area, which is a lot higher than most people. And just give them a good gentle pounding. Good work. And come back to center. Ah. <laughs> yes. Woo! Yeah, join me. This is a good time to be doing Okay, shake it all out. All right. Um, I have a lot of things on the program. Let's see how much we can. I just want to do a gentle side to side twist. Most of you already know that. Just a gentle twist to side. Be sure that you lift up your heel. Just kind of like you want to protect the knee. Yeah, we're just turning it by side to side. You can look straight ahead because this would be kind of good like twisting at the side. And let your body just, arms just follow. And then also, if you feel like it, open a little wider. And we can just like with the um, body weight shift, you want to aim for that lung point, as I mentioned, and the kidney area. So I'm just going to demonstrate that. Yeah. Notice that my body is not folded. I'm just twisting into it, alternating um, bent and soft knees. Both feet are planted. But if you want to pick it up, that's fine too. You have to listen to your body. Good and shake it all out okay good okay you know what um today i mentioned i'm gonna have some water because i want to remind you to drink your water please i do want to continue to remind because most people they don't drink enough by the time they feel thirsty they are already dehydrated so i actually have two just in case one for you one for me drink up Okay, let's do some healing sounds. Six healing sounds, these are. So um, you can sit or squat, but I'm kind of squatting a little bit because I can. I want to strengthen my legs a little bit. When we do squat, we just want to soften our knees just a little bit, sending all the way to the heels and just spread out those toes. You want to be able to have your knees looking, not going over your toes. You probably know that already. So let's do the six healing sounds. So. We're going to have our palm facing out. We're going to send the elbows all the way back, just opening all of this. And the first sound that we are doing is the, uh, the liver meridian, which moves the side of the body. So healing sounds like we're going to bring our elbows all the way back, opening all of that. And the first sound that we're going to make is she. Something close enough is going to, as long as the intention is there. And we're going to just brush against the side of the body. So we're just going to churn. Brush the arm against the side of the body. She. So you want your palm facing up. Not any higher. Just looking in that direction. We're making that shooting the energy through. So she. Come back. Let's take a breath. And the other side, we're just going to brush again and turn. She. I can't hear you. That's because you're muted. Okay. I thought you're doing it, right? Eyes wide looking through. So let's do a couple more. So she. Is 
So we want this hip more or less to be stabilized. We're just like rotating the body. Let's do two more on each side. So she really fold the extension, here. palm facing up, fingertips strong, directed. So good. Let's do one more set. So she come back. Remember to breathe and exhale. Coming up. She great. Let's do harmonizing breath. Big breath in, filling up the big belly breath and exhale Shh. into the ground. Next one for the heart. A uh, heart. Uh, particularly today is very, uh, you know, uh, energy to heart. We just want to scoop up some water to calm down the fire energy. So scoop up as if you're scooping up water. And we bring our elbows together. We want to squeeze our heart. We squeeze. Yeah, good. And then we're going to come up back of the palm facing each other like a T. And the sound for it is ha. Huh. We already did that earlier, right? So we want to just like, let me sit back. I mean, stand back. Ha. Huh. See how the palms are straining out to the side, releasing all that? So scoop up again. Big breath in. And then we're going to, yeah, palm. And then we're going to just dig down, drill down. Ha. Huh. Resting on the side. Scoop that water. Squeeze your elbows to get bring it up. Bending the elbow. Back of the palm facing each other. Fingertips facing that nice shoulder alignment. Make sure they're not hiked up. And ha. Huh. Let's do one more because that's so important. It doesn't matter if you don't say it exactly like I do. All accents are good, but it's the intention of the heart. One more. Breath in. Scooping up, squeezing. Yes. And making a T. And coming down. Ha! Okay. Ha! Ooh, let's shake loose a little bit. <laughs> what about the next sound? Is for the lungs. They're all good. And it's like a metal energy and the sound for that is like as if you're squeezing the air out of the balloon. That's what we're looking for. And uh, we're going to bring our hand to the heart, I mean, I'm, the lung area. We're going to just squeeze, like squeeze the scapula to get, just tighten up everything. Bring the elbows back, okay? And we're just going to push up. Push out the heel of the palm. Notice that my body's upright. And I, my elbow is kind of soft. We want, we call that the reserve. We don't want to be overly tipping over. We want that low reserve, that softness. So let's do a couple more. So we're going to just come up at the heart level. Squeeze, bringing your shoulders back, scapula it together and just push out. Soft elbows. Good. Let's do another. Squeeze tight and release. Good. Let's do a harmonizing breath. And ha, everybody. <laughs> Drop those shoulders. Drop them. Okay. Uh, let's do the stomach. Sound for stomach is whoo. Who's cooking tonight? I don't know who, but whoo. And we're going to remember our belly here. Well, we just want to imagine holding a ball here. Holding a ball which will expand. So yeah, palms facing each other, fingertips facing each other, directly at the Dantan belly level. And I'm just going to squat a little bit because uh, I want to challenge myself a little bit more. But you got to do whatever works for you. So so big breath in and we go, as we expand, whoo. See that? We're holding this ball, we're not like letting it go. Fingertips facing each other. Feel the expansion. Your imagination is going to be the most important. So, so just come on in. And whoo, coming back, breathing in, breathe in, and expand, exhale, whoo, your voice can be high and low, doesn't matter, it's just changed, isn't it, <laughs> breathing in, and whoo, so that's the stomach uh, energy, good, okay. Next one is for the kidneys. How so important the kidney energy? 
So we uh, remember our belly button. We're gonna just place our hand here, nice heart shape here. Open a little wide so we get a nice stand. And we're just gonna come around, draw around, and grab hold your kidneys. You know where they're, hold them in there. And we're just gonna kind of like sit back as we're sitting down, sitting down. And we're gonna come around, drop, brush along the side of the legs, and then come back holding the ball like this. The Dantin, the gigantic ball. So that's the, and the sound is shui. We did that earlier too. So, okay, so let's start from here. So, yeah, start with the belly. So we're gonna come around to the lower back, and then we're gonna just sit, soften our back, and go shui, holding this big ball. Come back up, trace around the belt channel, soften the back, brush down, shui. Holding that big ball, heavy elbow, shoulders, rounded. Let's do one more. Again, taping our palm to our, the, our navel, coming around and dropping, shui. Sitting mm -hmm. down into a squat. Or if you're sitting down, you're already there. So good. Yeah. Check that we are, our shoulders are drop and our elbows are heavy. All of this, we want to be really gentle with ourselves. Good. And then the next, the last one is, uh, the sound is shh, she. Very similar, right? And that's for the triple heater, which regulates our temperature. So we begin with, I'm going to have a little wide. Okay. Back of the palm facing each other. We're gonna just kind of come up, and they're gonna at heart level. They're just gonna open up like this. I'm gonna get a little closer. That's just not great. You can see this. So yeah, and the sound is she, right? It's like it's almost like saying she, but you're smiling. That's what we're doing. So here, she. So. If, arm comfortably by side. We also want that. We don't want to go back here. There's nothing wrong with that, but that's not what we're doing. We're holding the energy here. So back of the palm together, coming up, big breath in, fingertips facing together and coming down. She triple heater, that is, regulating our temperature, coming up and open up. A smile would be good too. <laughs> That would add to the experience and <laughs> let's do one more triple here. Open and she good harmonizing breath. Ah, how are we doing time? I got so much I want to do. And uh, oh, okay. Did everybody get the uh, that we're gonna do like some cane work or? Did you get that? Do you have a cane nearby, or or a curtain rod, or a or a trekking stick? Well, I hope you can find something similar to that. But meanwhile, uh, let's grab some water while I can. Uh, this is the part where I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, when I started the class. We didn't talk about this, but this is so important about self defense. I just want to let you know that ever since, you know, unfortunately there's been a lot of hate crime, not only against the Asians, but, you know, also anti-Semitic. It's just really any kind of hate crime, it just, it really affects all of us. Anyhow, I've been, I have a lot of canes, or you can have a walking stick. I just want to talk about that a little bit. I'm actually walking around with a stick, and I go every morning, and I do a whole routine with the cane. So I kind of hold my stick very lightly, whether if it's a trekking stick or a cane. I like the cane, it does a lot of great things. So I'm just kind of like walking around like this. Walking really confidently, walking around, creating social distance. What's really beautiful about this, I hold in the center, it creates a nice, I have used it like this. When it cries, but they might, umbrella is great too, yes. Just make sure that it doesn't pop up on you. Yep. So I'm walking around this, but your posture is really important. The most important thing about self-defense is, um, we're not into fighting. We just want to avoid being alert. That's why the posture is really important. You got to look confident. But I added the cane to my routine and I do walk around with that. So if somebody does come at you, 
you know, you can just kind of like keep a distance. And if they really come at you, are hoping to avoid that. You just kind of swipe up the center line, you know, right up the center line right there. But you know what the most vulnerable part is? Make sure you get the most vulnerable part. That's the nose, the eyes, the ears, and between the legs. So if you have an opportunity, but you know what? Only if you have like, we try to avoid that. So I just want to bring that into attention. So I found, you know, so if somebody come along, you could, I hold it in the middle. So that's a bit of a swing. But right now it's not a self-defense class, but I want to talk about that. I do carry this and um, I'm using this for exercise because this is great for stretching and alignment. It's really wonderful. Cane is good. Stick is good. Any kind of stick. So let's begin just by holding it very lightly. And uh, we're just going to do something here. Yeah, very lightly. And just like rotate with the wrist. Just loosen up the wrist a little bit. Yeah. Make friends with your cane or trekking stick. I got like about 10 of them. <laughs> and just, yeah, like this also. Yeah. Just curl. Loosen up the wrist. Yeah. And it's just kind of, um, kind of like moving around like this. Something fancy looking. Yeah. Just twirling it around. I don't think today we have a lot of time for some simple, uh, you know. Uh, yeah. You know what I'd like you to do? Let's do with some, uh, just a little gentle squat. Squats are good. So this, today we're just going to do a very gentle one. We're just going to have our feet wide. See if you can just kind of like roll up as you come up. And just, yeah, you can go as low as you want. You know, you got to watch yourself. So just like extend out and coming back. Holding the stick very gently. The cane, the stick, is just a guideline. So yes, sink and come back. Sink and come back. So that's, yep. And you can also, uh, this is good too. And uh, again, open a little wider and to see if you can just come down the center line like this. So your body has to turn. See that? You turn, just coming down the center line. So we're kind of pedaling. Just kind of warming up our shoulders. You can do reverse two. Yeah. Anyway, you know what to do. So anyway, so holding this very lightly. Uh, I got so much notes here. Okay, let's kind of come up. Let's let's start by breathing in, coming up above our head, keeping an alignment. So you can just like push it back and just hold it there. Yeah, hold it back and just just so you can hold that stretch and just breathe. The breath is really important, just stretching out, pulling it back, good, and come back down. I'm kneeling so you can see me, but of course you're standing. So again, we're going to come up, breathing in, pull it back, looking straight, keeping the neck neutral again. Yeah. Let's do one more, breathing in. Ah, good. And this time, let's kind of come up. Remember, we're not holding it very tightly. We're just going to just kind of uh, maybe open a little wider and just come down and squeeze the scapula. Imagine the scapula, just squeeze it down. We do a few times. I may have to sit to so. So that means you can do it sitting down too. But if you can stand it, do stand. So swing down, swing, reaching up and coming down, squeezing scapula. Nice. And, and then we can do a gentle twist side to side here. Let's just turn to one side. Feel that stretch and take a breather in here. Maybe you think about exhaling, coming back to center. Let's turn to the other side. Deep breath in and exhale out. Let's do one more. Rotate your body into the hip fold. Big breath in and just twist the spine and exhale, coming back to center. Let's do the other side. Same thing. Look and exhale out. Good work and shake it all out. Yeah, let's do another one. I have lots of variation. Let's see how much we can cover today. Coming all the way up, we, again, we're stretching. We're gonna come back, neutral head, and I'm just going, we are just going to, just like hold it, just scan through your body again, just like scan through your eyes, your jaw, soften your heart, bring it all the way down by the waist. And this would be the time just kind of push with straight back. We're gonna just roll down the legs. Relaxing. Say hello to the ankles, the toes. If you can touch them, great. Otherwise, just say hello. And we're just going to make a flat tabletop, bring our hands at our ear level. 
and just come all the way up. Big breath in. Did everybody get that? We want to do it quite slowly. So with the exhale coming down, scanning through the center line. Shh. Pushing the hips back. Yeah, straight back all the way to the heels and rolling down the front of the legs. Get the ankles, toes reaching up. Hands, the ear coming up very slowly and dropping it down like as if you're painting the wall. Exhale, coming down. And one more. Breath in and exhale, coming down. Good, and shake it all out. Um, oh yeah, another great alignment tool is uh, if you can have, whether it's a stick or not, tape your hand behind your head. That way we want to have our um, chin tucked in. Tape it to the back of your skull. We're not looking up like this, we flat back. And then the other hand, by the sacrum, just kind of hold it there. Gain that nice chin. Open your feet a little wide. And we're going to just um, soften the knee, the opposite knee, and see if we can just kind of rotate into it. You can release the knee, see that? So we're keeping our body upright, we're not folding, coming back to center. So turn into the bent knee, releasing the knee, coming back to center. And with the exhale, one more. Come back to center. And now we can just, in alignment, it's just going to fold straight back. Coming back up. And we can just kind of pull here, rub-a-dub-dub. <laughs> and let's switch hands. Again, we're taping to the back of our occiput area, flattening your back in alignment. Yeah. This time, you're going to bend this knee opposite, right? Bend the knee a little bit so you can just kind of shift the weight. I mean, turn into the hip fold. Twist. Hold and breathe. Come back up. Twist. Keeping the body upright. Let's do one more. Good. And then we can go rub a dub dub, just <laughs> up and down the spine. Good. And um, let's see. Yeah. Uh, let's do a little bit of um, maybe balance. I think everybody always likes to do that. So we begin by just holding the stick. And we're just going to tap our knees, point your toes because it looks better. So you can just pick it up, come up, tap your toe, I mean your knee. Give it a good tap, reaching up, exhale, coming down. Pretty easy, right? <coughs> Bring your knee high as you can. Really work out those hips. For the next one, why don't we just hold? And this would be a good time to just kind of like just tap, tap, tap along the legs here. Giving a gentle massage. Excuse me. Come up, tap and stay, and tap, tap, tap along. Giving a gentle massage. Let's do another one. Deep breath in and exhale coming down. Now, how do you gain better balance? One way of doing that is practice, but the other one is really, I just want to talk about this a little bit. Your big toe and your second toe are great for. Just try it. So, yeah, you come up, see if you can engage your the big toe, dig that right end and the second toe. That will help you stabilize. If you feel a little teeter-tottering, and if you feel comfortable, you can just turn to your side. Once you gain that, so let's come up. Let's try again, just tap the knee, stay there, and dig the big toe in, obviously the toe that's on the ground, and just turn to your side. Does that work? <laughs> so that's something that you could, I just want to give you some ideas that you know, there's a lot of things that you can do. So we could do this, right? And also another thing for balance uh, on strengthening is we can just hold the stick. You have to, no, depending on what you have, you can hold down here. I like to stir the pot, a big pot of soup. So make sure there's some distance here. So you can just kind of like place that in the center. So you can just like extend out, stretching out, coming back, center. Really extend, sitting back, extending out, and coming back. Stirring the pot. Everybody getting it? Yeah, we just gonna squat back, really feel the extension of the arm. And let's go the other way. Stirring the pot. Is 
Is this soup yet? I don't know. Okay, <laughs> let's go here. And um, yeah, and uh, we can also do this. We can open up the hips a little bit more. That's why the stick is kind of good. It keeps you centered. It keeps you from airplaning. Just hanging on to stick or cane. Just up on your toes. So you can just like open up the hip coming in. Tap, open. Releasing, just as a reminder that the knee is a uh, hinge joint. So if we want to kick somebody on the side, we have to kick out to the side by opening our hip, closing it up, kick to the front, opening up, kick to the side. So remember the knee, so let's remind ourselves that the knee is it's a hinge joint. So that means if we can go bicycling, that's it. <laughs> reverse, woo, and we can just kick ahead. So yeah, this would be just in case, right? We are talking about self-defense. You're here. You try to avoid they coming at you. They just like got you, but you want to at least have a fighting chance. You want to just see if you can just kick with the heel and then run. Okay, I don't want anybody to fight. We're not talking about combat, but we want to avoid it. So hopefully you will see what's coming. But if in the inevitable, if you have a cane, you can also go like this. You know, you can sweep around. And that's why it's really important to have strong legs after you sweep them off. Keep the distance, you can run, or just go up the center line, up the vulnerable areas. So here, so, and going back to our exercise, so yeah, open up, right? Open up the hip, yep. Yeah. So you want to kick ahead, open up, kick to the side, kick with the heel, really just kind of, yeah. So you can practice that at home, just like a nice kick. It doesn't have to be high. That's how you kind of strengthen the leg by doing squats are great. Let's do the other side. Up on your tippy toe, I mean up on your toe. See how we can like, even like just squeezing. This is the center line. Open your hip, close it across the center line. So yeah, we can just stay here and just kick out straight. And then we can out to the side, kick out to the side. So we can loosen, loosen up our hips a little bit. And I like to call this the pendulum. Just hang on to stay very light, keeping your body in alignment. So you see I'm kind of crossing the center line. A little pendulum, crossing the center. Make sure you have enough space in between that you're not like hitting your legs. <laughs> okay, so here, here. So this is a great hip opener, just, yeah. Good. Let's do the other side, same thing. Make sure all the weight is secure on that leg, engaging or ten toes, particularly the big toe, are great for stability. So yeah, let's cross the center line, right? Cross, over. Legs are relaxed, yep, good. And we can also do just like tap across, tap across, tap, tap, point your toes, same thing, the other leg. I just want to give you some ideas to work with, you know? And um, what else do I have for you? Yeah, come up and extend, come back. Pick your knees up, extend, coming back. So these are all great exercises, you can hold them. But what's really important is that we are not airplaning, we are just hold, using our cane to keep in alignment, this way at least. And you work on strengthening the legs. So I know we, wow, I had a lot on my mind, but I don't think you have several hours. <laughs> we may need to like do more next time. But anyhow, I just want to uh, end off with like, this is an interesting uh, exercise for the, uh, which I, I do a lot. Yeah, just again holding your stick. So let's tap the ankles, right? Just tap the ankle and stay. Pretty easy, right? With the stick, it helps a little bit. And then step to the other side, tap the ankle and stay. Now let's come up the leg, tap the calf and stay. Tap the calf and stay. The calf is really important. It's the second heart in the Chinese system. So we want to just kind of tap, 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 give it a good. Let's do, uh, let's do a little tap at the back of the calf, just to kind of um, give it a little bit of gentle massage, or just acknowledging that. Okay, and then we've done one. We're going to go up to the knee and stay. So can you stay and send all your weight into alignment? Step to the other side. you got to move in alignment, tap the knee and stay. And breathe. Tap the knee. Maybe you want to kind of soften your knees, kind of come up. Can you come down? Two, three, good. Let's go to the other side. Tap the knee so you can sink down a little bit and come up. Soften the knees, all the weight. So this is strengthening. Good. 
We're just gonna tap our calf just because it's on the way down to our toes. Let's go down to the ankles, go to the ankles. So make sure you're in alignment, you feel comfortable. See if you can just press down all 10 toes, come up a little bit, stay for a little bit and softly come down. Let's do one more, leg strengthening, good. Other side, tap the ankle. Press on all five toes this time, <laughs> coming up and down, up and down, and shake it all out. Uh, how are we doing on time, actually? You know what? It seems like, what time do we have? The time is going really quick, but I would be happy to stay around. What I'd like to right now is to take some, um, I was really ambitious. I thought we were going to play with the ball, some weights, but I think we have a lot of stuff to work with. So I would love to hear some comments or questions if you have. I'll be happy to stay. I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying home tonight. <laughs> how about you? So, um, can you help unmute everybody? Because I don't have control. And they have to unmute themselves. Oh, you have to unmute yourselves? Yeah. Are you allowing them to, though, Kenneth Gray? Yeah. yeah. My partner here, Kenny. Okay. Uh, oh. Miss Lee, we are, people are allowed to unmute themselves. Um, okay. and, and I can unmute them if you like. Sure. Does anybody have any questions at all? Like, that's not clear? I'll be happy to hang out if you like. Thank you. It's a great. I have a lot of fun and relaxation. Well, thank you. Yeah, I mean, um, I was pretty ambitious. I got like 10 pages. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was going to do some like, you know, um, um, some some punching with the weights. But, you know, but let me take some questions. And if you want to stay a few minutes, we can talk a little bit more about strengthening, about self-defense in particular has become my passion. So, um I know some of you have, like, you got to go to a happy hour, you have to make dinner, but I can hang around a little bit because I think this is kind of important. I just want everybody, you know, I just want to give a personal story. I have been attacked many times, unfortunately. I live, I live in dicey neighborhoods like the Bronx, Chelsea before the gentrification, Long Island City, all those great um, uh, uh, um, neighborhoods, right? So I came as an immigrant many years ago, and then unfortunately I was torn a lot, you know, with the Asian uh, uh, racist remarks. But also I've been, but you know, I just want to at least tell you this one thing. The biggest thing I found was the voice. You know, I have so many incidents, but it's not, I'm not gonna tell you all of them. You can, we can talk about it another time. But I found my voice was the most important. So I remember when I was a teenager going to Chinatown, I was living in the Bronx, all of a sudden, maybe 7, 8 a.m. in the morning, I think by East Broadway, walking down, meeting some friends, and two guys came at me, ready to do whatever. And I was just a kid. I wasn't aware. I've learned a lot since then. It just came out. I just screamed so loud. I don't want to demonstrate. It was so loud. I scared myself, but they just like scattered. They just like disappeared, you know? Uh, that voice, that blood current, because I felt really assaulted and I was feeling, I can still remember that. That's very visceral. So that's one voice. And that's why I want to talk about that. Developing your voice is good. Whistles are good. But you know what? It all comes from good breathing, good stretching. That was just adrenaline. I was like scared like you cannot believe, but they were more scared with my scream. I was shocked at how much. But that's what you need to do. It's about fighting for your life. Unfortunately, we had to talk about that. And in another time, real quick story is, um, maybe I was 12, 13, in the Bronx, walking, and some guy came up to me. He walked with me for blocks and blocks. He said, I forgot, you know, whether he had a knife or gun, but, you know, I just followed him. Walk, and I just kept, I was just an immigrant. And I just kept saying, I said, can you please let me go? And he goes, I have a gun. You know, he's like really determined. We walk for blocks and blocks. And then I kept saying to him, can you please, I was begging with her. My parents like want me home. I got to go home. It's late. You know what? I was super lucky. And then we came to one place like close to gate. And he just, in the very last minute, he was determined for quite some time. Because I did use my voice. I did plead with him. He changed his, his mind. He let me go. So you can use your voice in many different ways. So these are just two examples. And I could like tell you many stories. But again, it's not about me. What I want everybody to know is you cannot be scared. Good morning. Any kind of questions at all? Good morning. I do have a question. Yes, please, Elaine. Um, 
Can you make a? Can you speak a little louder and just? I suffered from a knee injury and I was just wondering if there's a few different people that's not yeah can, can people just be quiet for now let me hear you have a knee issue i have a knee issue i do not want to get uh surgery it's like a, a torn meniscus and i just think that getting surgery it would just make it worse so is there any recommendation just to strengthen it because it's okay other than when i'm at school teaching and though the steps in my school building are made of concrete so it hurts my knee more when I'm walking in the school versus at home. Gotcha. I love that question. I mean, I'm sorry about your, I'm sorry about your uh, your knee issues, but yeah, there's a lot of things I could talk about the knees. That's why. Let me just sit for a second, uh, because you know what? Again, the knee is a hinge joint, right? We already know that. And I'm not here to give medical advice. I'm not sure. I mean, do you have? Uh, you say it's a torn meniscus, and you are. Yeah, I just want some exercises. Yeah. Yeah, I, you know, I'm not asking for medical advice, but I just want to... Okay, I'm glad we cleared that up because I'm not going to give medical advice, but I will give some ideas about, you know, an alignment. So a couple of things you can do, you know what, walking up the stairs, right? I find that a lot of people, I do want to talk about that. I have my blocks here. If some of you have to go, please, I won't take it personally. I know you have to have your happy hours. I'll be happy to stay because I think it's important. So I'm just setting up. Can you see my blocks here? <laughs> I'm just like, you know, walking up the stairs is one of the best things that you can do. I'm just setting up my squat here. Right now. I just really want to talk about proper, and this is important because I, I, I really look at people all the time, you know. And like when you come up, walking up the stairs is the one that squats and climbing stairs, one of the best things you can do to strengthen your knees and all that. But however, it's got to be proper. And I notice all the time that a lot of people are just kind of like stomping down. Just take a look. A lot of people are like landing really hard, like over that. So I like to suggest that you just walk a little softly. I just really want to let you know I myself had knee issues and foot issues, okay? So I'm not perfect neither, but I learned quite a few things. What is important is that you want to kind of, let's say, come. I wish I had a new stair. So you kind of come up here, so you can see. I'm landing here, and I just really want to softly kind of come up here, and then when I'm looking, whoop, Wait on the heels. let me use my cane just because, you know, this is a yoga block, <laughs> so you're using railing, you want to be in alignment, it's important, so you want to like place your full foot here, and you want to kind of like place the full foot here, it's landing really softly, right, I'm being a little careful because I'm on the yoga block, and you want to push off on the back leg, you see that, a lot of people just kind of stomp down. Trust me, I used to take the subway, I go to Soho, 9 out of 10 people, young ones, young people, like stomping really hard. I did the same thing. You got to just like put your heel down really softly, make sure that doesn't go over like this. So when you are climbing like this, in alignment, you want this in alignment, you want to take the pressure off and you want to push out the back. Does that make sense at all? I mean, I can go more into it. So you can try when you go on your stairs. Whenever you have to stay, just kind of like at least that, that in itself would take the pressure off. You got to push off, just like climbing, anything, you know, even um, rock climbing. People are like stretching it, they really push off the legs. You, the legs are the most important, so you want to push off this to come up. The same thing, push off that to come up versus slamming down on that. So that's one that I want to talk about. And leg strengthening, you can certainly do, you know, if you have weights. Um, oh, I'm going to sit back here. Uh, sitting in alignment again, you know, um, whatever weight you have would be fine. You know, it could be bag of beans. Oh, let me sit here. Oh, another thing. Alignment is really important. So if you're sitting like I am, right, you want your legs to be always, I'm low, I'm not too tall, so... I had knee issues because I kind of figured it out because my feet were dangling off the chair. So if you are sitting, if you are sitting on a slightly tall chair like this at work or whatever, you want to place something underneath your legs, preferably the same. <laughs> yeah. You want that into alignment. You want to really, legs be really grounded, always that 90 degree. You all know about the alignment, right? So if you're doing the exercise, I have to use the block today. 
sitting at the edge of the chair is good. And also through sitting is the new smoking, you heard that. So if you are sitting a lot, every 20 minutes we sit up and sit down, look far away 20 seconds. So you can place, uh, you can place the weight. Actually, I prefer like bag of beans. If you drop it, it's relative. And you just kind of come up like this, you know, just strengthen the quads. These are the ones that are holding up. Um, the quads is what hold the kneecap together. And uh, are you getting any medical treatment for this at all? Um, I was getting therapy before the, uh, before the pandemic, and then just everything went awry. <laughs> okay, right. So another thing that I like to do is like to make a shelf with your knee. Just pick it up, right? Pick it up. And you want to, um, I don't know if you can see, but pick up your knee. And then my thumb is on top. So, you know, like pick it up so you're supporting your knee. And see if you can just swing your legs slightly and just like kind of press your, brush your thumb over it as you, there's certain things just kind of like to relieve the knees. You want all these to be tight. And any kind of uh, strengthening, I'm not sure if you have physical therapists that gave you some exercises to do. And you know, and then pounding is another thing, you know, stretching, strengthening, uh, weight. But I always really feel that it's really important to really work out after you do stretching or any kind of muscles. One of the easiest things that you could do is just like pounding out, pounding out. You know, all of the knees, like, you know, you can do this, size, top and front, and just alternate. I mean, there's so much that you can really do. And just kind of rub the hand together and just really bring some circulation and just, yeah, you want to work out the knees, but really make sure. That's why I made the point of talking about the knee, which is in uh, a hinge joint. Does that help a little bit at all? It does. About like squatting, also squatting a great. I'm going to go back to my cane or chair you know, so, you know, you may not want to wear, have a cane, but, you know, even if you, so like, you know, when you are this, so like this may be kind of good, like have it down here, she said, and just kind of like see if you can just like sit back, make sure that the knee is not holding any pressure, you never want to be over like this, that's just really kind of bad, but you can strengthen by just kind of like sitting back like this, you know, so yeah, kind of come up, make sure you guys sit in back. Yeah, you got to sit back on your heels. Make sure it's back on the heel. Remember I said that the heel is the alignment, heel. So if you are like the standing, it's really the heel that's alignment. A lot of people like this. And I just want to talk about a posture one more time. Thank you for staying. You know, going back to self-defense, it's really about your posture. I'll admit to you, I'm just scared of being attacked too, but I don't want to show that. You know, you cannot show that. Turn the fear into fears. You know, you got to just look confident. You have to look standing up. And that means if you are traveling and you have to pick up a phone and look, just go find a corner, stable, so you can really look. You have to put your antennas up. A lot of people looking this way. All these postural things are going to make a difference. You know, the coward, the one who's trying to attack you, are looking for somebody to prey on. You know, they're kind of like, you know, who's not paying attention. So I just want to tell everybody the first thing about self-defense is about prevention, like Chinese medicine, prevention, self-preservation. You got to look confident. You have to know. I'm looking in all the time. Unfortunately, I'm on high alert. So yeah, so the squats are great. Any of these would be kind of good. A little weight on it would be good. <laughs> I mean, you're welcome. Anybody's welcome to, I do answer my email, Saki007. If you have any particular questions, as long as... Um, you don't ask me sir, uh, questions about surgery or, <laughs> or, or what's, uh, what is that, um, some kind of crazy medicine, you know. Anyway, uh, welcome to. Any other questions at all? <coughs> that means it's good or bad. It means you, everything was clear or you don't even know what I'm talking about and how do you phrase that? <laughs> yeah. Um. Are there any questions at all? Hi, Saki. This is uh, yeah. Kai Wen from uh, Asian Alumni Group. Yes. Uh, it's a treasurer. Um, we, we really thank you so much for your great class. You're teaching us a lot about uh, Qigong, which is one of uh, 
Chinese culture, and you let us learn a lot. And as well as uh, self-defense, it's very important for this time period. Uh, I think we benefit a lot from your great class. And uh, it's also a Qigong very useful uh, method to release our stress, especially during this COVID time period. People all stay at home, it's really stressful and also working hard. So I think um, uh, Qigong also very good for our blood circulation, you teach yeah. us. It's also good for our health, regardless, it's a very, very good useful method we we all should learn more is so you have so much content we can absorb to one time but we learn the basic idea and the movement yes you know what the, yes, voice, so much. the voice chi come together with the movement it's a very very useful maybe we need to learn more <laughs> uh, I, I i'm very interested in this uh, so thank you so much uh, we we really learn a lot from you Thank you so much for your great, um, your timing and your great knowledge. I and uh, hope you have a great evening. I just <laughs> and want everybody to close have off. a great evening. I, thank you so much. I just want to close off with this about Qigong. It's just a principle. It's just about, I like to do my ABC. You know, I build upon my vocabulary. A is for alignment. You know, in order to breathe correctly, we're like a tube, right? If you're eating, you want everything in alignment. So we talk about alignment today. And qigong, qigong just, qi just means like energy, the breath. You know what, we take nourishment through the breath. So that's why a lot emphasize on breathing well, fully, and exhale particularly. You know, there's so much to cover really, but I just want to at least get away with the basic, with the alignment. And nowadays, awareness of your surrounding, being the antennas up, looking around. We want to preserve ourselves. We want to protect ourselves. So B is for the breath, which is so important. Full breathing. And I actually like to recommend exhale. A lot of people, they breathe, but they hold the breath. So if you think about exhaling really fully, emptying your lungs, you will fill back up. Your body automatically do that. So the breath is important and centering and circulation. So A, B, C. And I just like to add D today to my vocabulary. D is for Dantian, your center. And the Chinese medicine is so important. Dantian, just below the belly button, just a couple inches in. Really think about moving from that space or that breathing into it. We want to be really strong legs. If in the event, if in the event somebody come and attack you, you can still like turn and turn and run. The legs are the most important. It help you to escape. And it's got to be strong. If somebody try to push you, at least you have something. And then just to wrap up, if you do get thrown on the ground, you have to use your leg and you keep kicking. But that's really another topic. But yeah, I thank you everybody for joining in. I hope if you have any additional questions, I'll be very happy to answer them to my email, saki007 at gmail.com. Saki, thank you so much. This is Helen Moy. What is the name of the Haji? They have different kind of uh, type with different type. What is the name of your Tai Chi school? Oh, What's the name of Tai Chi? Like, I don't know the Tai Chi school. I've been studying Tai Chi with many different places throughout the years, so I don't have a school that I affiliate with. You know, it's just uh, I've just you learned. Combine, it's a fusion of different styles. Yeah, it's a good question. I mean, I just because it's something that I, I've been doing since 1993. I have a friend uh, who's a, da a Taoist. Uh, he had uh, 1993 is when I came aware of it. My friend Alex, he bought this Taiwan uh, master and he started showing us about, you know, Qigong. There were like really gentle exercises and that got me started about thinking about. Also at the same time, you know, I'm a graphic designer by trade. I do a few things. But in 1992, I actually went to massage school. So I learned at the same time, it all came together about the body mechanics. Your body, everybody, is the most important. Your legs, it has this natural healing power. We have to take responsibility. Don't give it to doctor. I always like, this is my philosophy. Your body is a great healing power. You try to really nourish it with the breath, with the good food that you eat and your attitude. And then you strengthen yourself. Sometimes things happen when you get old, things start to fall apart. So allopathic medicine have its things, but I always like to see if you can do it naturally first. Instead of just like throwing all the drugs, which a lot of doctors like to 
push. <laughs> so that's my opinion. But yeah, um, any of this stuff you could, you know, there's a lot of stuff out there. And like, um, I learned a lot of stuff from YouTube also. But you have to know what is good and what is bad, you know. But if you know the basics, if somebody's showing you a form where they just kind of crawl over like that, you know, but the really important, you, your body has to be strong, your legs have to be strong. So any kind of movement that involves the breath, moving into. But I want to, uh, I want to invite everybody, if you come to my neighborhood, Madison Square Park, 23rd Street, 5th Avenue, you can write to me. I go every morning, 8 to 9, with my partner, Kenny. We do our Qigong, so you're welcome to follow us if you want to. But yeah. And that's why I would like to end. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining. Thank me. you so thank much. You so thank, you much. thank you so much, Doggy. Thank you. Have a great evening. Have a great evening. Hi, Helen. Have a great evening. Thank you so much. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And, and thank you, Saki. Bye. 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 Can you email Bye. the recording to the, all the participants? Hi, this is Shinpei. Nina. Uh, Oops. <laughs> If you could of email course, of, the uh, the recording, uh, of course, of, uh, that's great. Okay, I just Thank want to say, okay. let me save the chat and then we'll we'll sign out. Good night, everybody. Thank you so much. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Thank you. Good evening. All right. Have a good evening. Bye. Bye. Be safe Bye. out there. Be strong. Bye. Bye.